Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect by Shem Rechakwadash. My name is Yakaba from Plenty Tables Camp. Now, we are not able to teach, you know, Israelites, so called black, Latinos, Native Americans that believe they know every damn thing that are involved in sex cults that walk around with masks on and, and weapons it, certain Israelites you just can't teach all right? and, and they're involved in criminal activity and they're walking around with weapons you know so you, you can't teach those guys once you see them as soon as they, they, they uh, start talking shit you know you just ignore them or say well that ain't really the way we do things and uh, just move on because ultimately, you know, in your own way, uh, the ultimately they, they're not going to get it. So it's kind of good that they, they that they don't come and stop by and listen. It's actually better because they are of the two thirds. All right. The reason why they don't stop past, you got thousands of people walking past the camps, is because they're not of the elect. All right. Now uh, I got two videos here: one in Houston, one in Philadelphia. Uh, we got a uh, Houston condo residents outraged at undesirable guests having sex on balcony. So I heard short-term leasing, Airbnb. You know, people are trying to pay their mortgages, and they want to get the residents out quickly and not have them in a, in a year lease based upon their experiences with residents and that tend to rent with them. So they want to get their ass out. So they want 30 days. They want to get their ass out. They don't want to have them in there for a year. So now that's the downside to that too, because people that are less committed are more likely to, you know, commit crimes and be unsavory characters. All right. So they want to do the month to month lease. All right. So let's um let this video play. Only on Fox tonight, some residents who live in a small upscale townhouse condominium in the Galleria area say they're witnessing sex parties and violence. It's actually become a weekend occurrence and they blame short term leasing as the cause. Fox 26's Randy Wallace is joining us live from the Galleria area tonight with this crazy story. Randy. Yeah, Caroline. Now we in, we sat down and talked with seven residents. The ones that we interviewed on camera, they asked that we not show their face, say their names, and all but one wanted their voices altered. It's all due to an Airbnb out of control. See, if I can describe in one word what happened to the neighborhood is filth. They bring filth to this established family neighborhood. These townhouses. Filth. They bring filth to this. So if I can describe in one word what happened to the neighborhood is filth. They bring filth to this established family neighborhood. These townhouses are on a street right off of San Felipe. The half million dollar 3,200 square feet homes offer a lot to like, except come and go neighbors on the weekends. Two homes offer a lot to like, except come and go neighbors on the weekends. It's funny because the the, pe the Airbnb, uh, the weekend, so that's an Airbnb, they... The owners gave him gave the news channel the footage. <laughs> You're running to the people, and you gave them the, and you gave them the footage. So, I guess they don't give a shit because they're gonna get uh, a rental uh, fee anyway. So, but the owners gave gave the news the footage. So, all right. and go neighbors on the weekends. <laughs> Two individuals decided to engage into some. Adult activities right there, right in front of us. Residents say their driveways are routinely blocked by gun-toting pots. I think it's more fun that way. Complaining could get you killed. Exactly. Even doing this is making me scared for me and my family. I shouldn't be so. What did you think when you saw the sex act on the balcony? It was terrible. I felt terrible. This was on a Monday morning. We could have had kids. There's a, an elementary school. You know, two minutes away from us. There are acts of violence. Uh, there are multiple police reports. There are acts of indecency. 
Residents have sent more than 87 emails to HPD since June. Many of us are called 311 and HPD from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the hope to have coffee. Now, unless that, that, that camera was another na a neighbor's state, so they were urinating in another, in a neighbor's yard. That could have been that, too. So, it could have been the uh, actual Airbnb, or it could have been the uh, neighbor's footage. So, they came to the party or came to spend a night in the weekend, uh, weekend, and they decided to urinate because they couldn't get in yet eh, at, some, at a neighbor's uh, property. Cops, HPD from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the hope to have cops help us to end this nightmare permanently. Has the nightmare ended? No. Is it worse? Yes. It's kind of destroyed my morale in being in this neighborhood. There you go. That's the uh, the old, uh, that woman. You know the woman I'm talking about. It's just, if she, if she, if she don't act right, don't talk to her. If she, if she don't behave like a server and a humble uh, just don't talk to her. Don't help her. Leave her alone. No matter how she looks, is she extremely ugly or uh, gorgeous? Is she not in behavior? Just leave leave her alone. Ex especially that one. You know what I'm talking about. Is it worse? Yes. It's kind of destroyed my morale in being in this neighborhood. Now, we reached out to the person we believe owns the condo. We've yet to get a response. Now, frustrated homeowners there they believe that the only hope they're going to get or the only relief is going to be to pass a new city ordinance reporting live from the galleria area randy wallace city ordinance okay yeah so that was probably the uh the neighbors he was urinating in all right so go to go to ezekiel oh, come on now i guess we started this damn thing it's on great all right, uh, Ezekiel. Where we at? This is who who the, who we teaching. This is why you, the, the the reason why they don't stop past because they're of the two thirds. The reason why they don't want to learn is because they're of the two thirds. They got better shit to do. All right, and that's good. We'll have less interactions with you. We can just talk to the to the spirits. All right. It says, and they whether they will hear. Or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Ye shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. So he's supposed to still teach, whether they listen or not. They're stiff, impudent, stiff-hearted. Okay? I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Lord Yahweh. All right? Uh, Ezekiel 2 and 8. But... Thou son of man, hear what I said unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like the rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. Right. And he got the prophecy. So Ezekiel spoke the prophecies about Israel about to be destroyed. Uh, the reason why they're in captivity. And he also uh, prophesied of the future and the kingdom, etc. All right. So this is who, who we're dealing with. Um, now. 2 and 6 and thou son of man be not afraid of them neither be afraid of their words they're going to threaten you they're going to pull guns out on you etc uh, they only believe, only believe in the Old Testament they only believe in the New Testament uh, though briars and thorns be with thee and thou dost dwell among scorpions alright vipers, scorpions, thorns uh, briars meaning they're pricks when you look that up I mean they mean they're pricks um, let's see. A rebel. All right, a briar, a rebel, someone that's uh going against what you're saying. It means a rebel, rebellious means back to war. All right, you got sor sor sorab. All right, you then you saw he acts like he don't know what it means. A sting. All right. The other word we got, salawan, salawan, a briar, a thorn, a prick. All right, a prick. You go to prick. Yeah, sharp point and all that. A, a obnoxious or contemptible person. All right, that's our people. Obnoxious. What you saw there was a bunch of folly. They in the damn uh, sex cult. 
They're just having fun, living their best life. And that's good. They can do what they want. They're going to pay for it in the future. I'm not concerned with you fuckers. All right, we're just telling you your, your, uh, what's going to happen to you. All right. This is a heretic. A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject. All right. We got Heretikon. We got G141. Heretikos. Fitted or able to to, to take or choose a thing. So they say, oh, they only believe in the Old Testament. They only believe in the New Testament. Oh, I don't believe that breakdown. You know, so they're able to, to, to believe what they want to believe. They don't believe that there are prophets that are ordained by Yahweh Shai, by the Lord. All right, schismatic. So they have their own word. They don't have, they don't, they don't receive a word from a prophet. And that's how the, how it works. You receive a word from the prophets. The prophets receive the words from the Holy Spirit, from Yahweh Shai. All right, factitious, following a false doctrine, meaning what the hell they want to believe. All right, let's go to Philly right here. Philadelphia ski mask ban became law because for some reason, niggas in this area in, in Pennsylvania, I don't know if they do it in New York, they walk around with these fucking masks on. I don't know what it is. I know in Pennsylvania, they just do it in Philly and then other counties. I saw it in like Lancaster too. Like what the hell are these dudes walking around with a ski mask on? All right, uh, and so it's a law now. It's a law. Ski mask ban. It's not a ban. It's a law. A ban. You can lift. A, you can lift a ban. Law is more permanent. Well, it's now official. Ski masks are illegal in many public places in Philadelphia. The controversial ban automatically became law today, and there's plenty of reaction tonight. Action News reporter. Trying to not, they try not to be racist and they get a fair skinned person behind the mask. You know, because if it was a black person, they'd call it racist or darker skinned person. So they're trying to be sensitive now. Not really, but that's the projection. Andy McCormick is live along the Ben Franklin Parkway with more. Annie. Yeah, and Rick, because outgoing Mayor Jim Kenney did not sign the legislation or veto it, it did become law today, and it now carries a $250 fine. We're hearing mixed opinions tonight on a new law that allows Philadelphia police to fine people for wearing ski masks in specific public spaces. The masks are also known as pushaisis or balaclavas. I don't know. I don't want us to wear them over here. It's freezing out here, but I, I, me personally, I don't wear them, but I think they should let other people wear them. People like me that go to work and the other people that go to work, that early mornings and late nights, is, their faces are going to be cold. So I think certain times it shouldn't be banned, but then, yeah, it should be banned. The list includes SEPTA, where masks were already banned, parks, schools, daycare centers, and city-owned buildings. Just two weeks ago... Yeah, that, that, that's reasonable. You know, that's reasonable. Uh, those, like, certain areas like that. But, like, uh... Like, and it's cold. I can see where, where, where it's cold, you know. But all year round, a complete ban. But so it's, it's specifics with the ban. You know, like he was like he was saying, that, that seems reasonable. Well, you know, those masks are involved in you know, the <laughs> They're involved in some criminal activity. All right. And these, these niggas, you know. You know, I just, I, I just stay away from all of them. All right. Just. Just do my business, mind my business, and, uh, and preach, preach the gospel. Remember, these are the same niggas. They don't, they don't give a fuck about what you're saying anyway. They, they're not, you know, I'm not, I don't feel sorry for these dudes. I don't care where the hell I grew up at. I don't wear them, but I think they should let other people wear them. People like me that go to work and the other people that go to work, that early mornings and late nights, is, their faces are going to be cold. So I think certain times it shouldn't be banned, but then, yeah, it should be banned. The list includes SEPTA, where masks were already banned, parks, schools, daycare centers, and city-owned buildings. Just two weeks ago, city council voted 13 to 2 passing the legislation. It was sponsored by council member Anthony Phillips, who said it could aid police in solving crimes. Mayor Jim Kenney did not veto or sign the legislation, which in turn became law. ACLU attorney Solomon F. World said this in testimony two weeks ago. Safety is important, but there's no evidence to suggest that ski masks 
cause or encourage violent crime. And today he told 6ABC he is disappointed, saying it adds a target on the backs of black and brown people. Those against it also say it delves into stop and frisk, which is legal. You can't walk into a store with a damn mask on or a hood on. I'm, I'm just, I don't agree with that. You, you can't do that. I don't, if I had a store and, you know, some, some guys walked in there, uh, <laughs> military age uh i'm not allowing you into my damn store or i see you at the security door if they say you're in the apartment building we have a security door and the lobby and all that i'm not letting you in with a goddamn mask on that, that that's where we got that this is where we are right now it ain't happening so i get i get it you know it can be certain situations where you can wear you should you should have a mask on but not in certain settings i don't agree with that in certain settings, you can't handle that. You can't have your face covered. Now, I, I, I didn't grow up in the damn suburbs. All right. But controversial. But some commuters today agreed with the new law. I don't think it's a white or black thing. You have someone with a ski mask on, and so your nerves start, you know, the adrenaline start pumping, and you don't know if they're going to rob you, or you don't know if it's just a regular a high school kid or someone that's really cold. And Rick, it should be noted that there are exceptions for religious requirements, but what about enforcement? What will that look like? Well, we asked Philadelphia police and also the city. The city did release a statement saying that they will review the final legislation to identify the best approach for legal and effective enforcement. For now, pretty live along the parkway, Annie McCormick, Channel. Yeah, America circling the drain. It's, that's where we got. Yeah, how the hell are they going to enforce it? And women are scary as shit anyway. I don't. I, I, Give a fuck what one damn woman saying about feeling safe. These bitches, these black women, they, they just don't feel safe. They just just terrible. They're always scared, cold, confused. Like, what the fuck? God damn. This... Hey, that's a curse. That's a curse again because they, they, they know every goddamn thing. But then they so damn vulnerable at the same time, which is which is amazing dynamic. But uh, there you have it. The uh, That's where we got to. We got, we got to the point where they passed the law. In, in Philly, anyway, uh, in certain settings, you can't have your face covered. Now, of course, you have religious, uh, you have the Muslims, uh, they cover their face or they cover their uh, their head. You know, even though our women are supposed to have their head covered too, but you know, they ain't going to do that. Uh, but, you know, it can be said, you know, it's uh, discriminating against uh, certain groups of people. So they got to consider that. So, how are they going to enforce it? You know, they're probably not going to enforce it that much. That's my opinion. They're going to just use their, their normal discriminating tactics to say, okay, let's just frisk this person. And and that's legal, I believe. It's less legal in Philly, the, the stop and frisk thing, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. All right. So these are the pricks and the briars and the scorpions and the uh, thorns that we had to deal with. All right, we just, they're a heretic, you know, they don't want to hear the word, just just move on. They're not that important. Uh, they're two-thirds anyway. No, you can edify, etc. Right. Knowing uh, that he that is such is subverted and sinners being condemned of himself. So we gotta, we actually have to believe that ain't no hope for this guy. It's more than likely that he's going he's going to meet the hellfire. So we can move on with a, a good conscience. I said he subverted. Let's look that up. And he's a sinner. We're covered by the bloody how was shy. We got extrafo. Extrafio. Extrafo. Extrafo. Twisted. Turned aside uh, to turn inside out, invert to change for the worse, pervert, corrupt. He means twist it, pervert it, meaning what he believes, what they believe. All right, it's perverse, it's crooked, it's wrong. Knowing that he that is such, meaning they don't, they're not taking heed to what we're saying. All right, what the prophets are saying, knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth, being condemned of himself. 
or maybe judge. Whoa. Auto Katakritas. Auto Katakritas. Katakritas. And self condemned. Okay. Auto. Oh, auto. Uh, condemned. Katakrino. I mean, judge. Katakrino alongside judgment. Also, self judgment. Yeah, okay. Also, katakritas. All right. Uh, self condemned. Condemned. Self condemned. Keep going to. We got no. I know. Krino means judgment, and kata means alongside of. Right. Against the del- uh, by delay, according to after against. Krino, which means judgment. Yep, to approve opinion, approve concerning, to select, choose. That means a judge. All right. Judge 88 times. All right. Yeah, so basically, so when you reject the word of the prophets, you, you, you didn't judge yourself. Okay, so you judge yourself unworthy of everlasting life. All right. So you're going to die in a hellfire. Right, so beware of those unsavory characters and stay away from the ass. All right. Shalom.